Hi, welcome back to another unboxing video. Uh, today we've got the Bang Dream film live set, which I'm very sure everyone is super, super excited about and not at all like, okay, this is random, but all right, sure, Bushy. So yeah, I don't even know what clan this is if I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Featured clan, Bang Dream. It comes with its own rarities and everything. Super special rares. So, yeah, let's see what we get. The sponsor for this video is Triple Sleep TCG. Triple Sleep TCG is an online website where you can get bundles, playset splits, basically be able to finish off those decks by purchasing playsets from the website. On top of that, you can get the playsets of the upcoming D-Series set, so you can get full playsets from whatever nation you pick. Supplies are gonna be available while they last, so you guys should get in on that while you can. Thanks again to Triple Sleep TCG for sponsoring this video and we're gonna get right into this unboxing. Pop this right open. Oh, quick shield. That's kind of funny. So you can run around with the bang dream quick shield if you want to. That's actually kind of cool that there's like a, a special art quick shield. I like that. That's, that's funny. <laughs> and uh, let's see, no uh, advertising in this thing, that's, Surprising, just because you know the PR is literally all over the the wrapper there. So just get right into it. So I have no idea what the gimmick is, what the playstyle of any of this is, and all this just looks like Weisswurst cards. They're just screenshots from the anime. When placed, if your Vanguard is an Afterglow, oh, they're all. I think they're all Afterglows. Oh wow, side. Is this not just Weisswurst? <laughs> Draw a card, discard a card from your hand. Building used by the same card in one's return. It's common. All right, a sideways card. What is this? This is an order music. When placed on rear? Huh. Draw a card, look at three cards on the top of your deck, reveal up to one critical trigger from them, put it in your hand, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck. Okay, so sideways cards. What's this one do? Brave Jewel, uh, rear, uh, when the attack of your Rosalia does not hit, canvas one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it. If it is retired, you call two cards equal to that unit's grade. Interesting. We got some spells going on. Bang Dream Crit, you may include up to 12 sparking memories in your deck, so you can just have 12 copies of this crit. And you can only have four heals, but you got the greatest live. <laughs> Not the greatest alive, or it's just the greatest live. It's the best live performance ever. Um, rare. Little demon. Uh, I'm not even going to pronounce that. Uh, when placed, look at five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal to one Rinko Shirin Shirokane in his name from among them. Put in your hand, shove your deck. When it's attack, boost, soul charge, lunge. Uh, Ako Uragawa. Okay. Ooh, VR first pack. All right. Uh, on stage, Kokoro Surumaki. When placed, search your deck for one card with Michelle. <laughs> this, this is just so funny. <laughs> In its name, call it to rare, and if you search your deck shovel, when it attacks, if a Hello Happy World music has been played this turn, you can call a card from your hand. Very, uh, very interesting so far. This is a little weird, but maybe we'll get the hang of it when we read more cards. What does this one do? When rest by the ability of another Afterglow, you may stand this once per turn. Okay, so we got some resting going on. Forerunner, or starter, my bad. Uh, right on it, quick shield, draw a card. Blinds, Popina together, okay. One place, kind of one, put a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck, return one crit and normal, and pop and party normal unit each from your drop zone to your hand. This building only used once per turn. Okay. Got some, some parties going on. How parting dreams, you can include up to eight how parting dreams in your deck. When place, search your deck for up to one pastel palettes card, put into your soul and shuffle your deck. This ability can only be used once. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, look, here's some resting stuff. Double R. If you have four more afterglows, they cannot be chosen by card effects. 
Oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, and then kind of bless one and rest of your guard draw card. So it's just gets over lock, which is nice. Uh, when rest by Bill, oh yeah, we went through the whole thing. Okay. Very, very weird thus far. Ooh, what's this one? Q my flower. Uh, if your soul has a pastel palettes with eight or more different card names, when you're angry with uh, Aya Maruyama would attack, it battles all your opponent's units. This is all very, very interesting stuff going on. Um, oh, another starter, different one. Uh, worldwide treasure. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade two or greater, all your front row units get 5k. When the attack of your Hello Happy World hits, you may draw a card. And the attack of your, this, so are these things like attacking? I'm not sure. I'm very confused. Um, the greatest live, but this looks like a different artwork. So maybe, oh, yep, there you go, Sparking Memories, just a bunch of different artworks. When play search your deck for a Pastel Palace card, put in your soul. Bill can use once per in the same card name. Um, Surging Passion. When retired from Guard Circle, put this in your soul. When play Soul Treasure 1, choose one of the Roselias, and it gets 5k. Yeah. I am not figuring this out. <laughs> Still very confused as to what these things do. Oh, cool. Another starter. Different artwork. The thing that stands. When it hits or its boost hits, you get top two. If you look, reveal up to one Hello Happy World. Oh, the Hello Happy World is the, like, uh, not archetype, but whatever, race. The race. And among them, put it in your hand, put the rest of them on. Okay, that could be good. Draw. Another crit. And what do you do? Figure of an old sister when rest by ability and after glow. When Vanguard gets 5k, if your punts grade 3, comes 1, and your Vanguard gets 10, uh, a crit. And another VR. Cool. Uh, if you have one with... Those are a lot of names. Um, all your front row regards get the trigger effects that this unit gets from dry tracks. Oh, okay. If no orders have been played, this can list one, search your deck, or drop zone for one pop and party music card and play it. If you search your deck, shuffle. All right, cool. Filtering, searching. Um, still not exactly sure what the gimmick is, other than like there's a bunch of orders. There's another really shiny foiled card in there. All right. Um, music. Uh, front row gets 5k. We went through this one before. On your mark, when you're Vanguard with... Ran Mitake. There's so many different names. I'm like really struggling to find a lot of consistency in any of these. Stand your unit. And if you... Okay. There's a lot going on here. So this is uh, standing stuff. And if you stand four cards, you get two gift force. Is this a force clan? I just, I just realized I didn't even notice if it was. Yeah, it's force. What do you do? Place look at top seven cards. Up to one grade three with that in its name. Shuffle, put this in your soul, return a pop and party without to Toyama, Toyama's name, put in your hand. Another draw trigger, another heal trigger. Quiet enthusiasm. Did we go through this one? When we'll play Soldier 2 for one or more, we're still charged draw card. That's actually not bad. And another, oh, that's triple R. When placed, soul last one, reveal. Trigger, crit trigger from your hand. Look at five cards on the top of your deck. Reveal to one pop and party. Put in your hand. All right, so I'm seeing filtering, resting, standing, getting a lot of forest markers, and a lot of questions. Okay, that's actually a pretty sick starter. Oh, that's actually really cool. Um, imbuing the world when placed, look at five cards, reveal the two Roselias, shuffle your deck. So I feel like there's three different archetypes. I got Pop and Party, Roselia, and there's another one that I'm not thinking of right now. Uh, that's it, palettes. Uh, when placed, look at three cards on the top of your deck for any pastel palettes. 
with the rest on the bottom. That's not bad. This is a foiled uh, order card here. When placed, if your vanguard is afterglow, oh, fourth, fourth one, afterglow. Search check for an afterglow with a different name. Beginning of your battle phase, stand two or more your afterglows. Okay, so that's probably pretty good. Yeah, that's it. Oh, man. I'm not gonna lie, this is not the most exciting box opening I've ever done in my life. Another starter. Two starters. Yep. Great. Love it. Uh, look at top seven card. Triggers. What does this one do? Look at top seven. Reveal one music card. Put into your hand. Don't know what music cards are. Maybe they're the orders. Who knows? More afterglows. Uh, look at top seven card. And was that it? Yep. Looks like that was it. That was a that was a dead pack. That thing came with two starters. Oh man, this is. It's really interesting. Uh, when placed, Soul Charge 1. Easy. Um, if your soul has pastel, fire more different names. This gets intercept and intercept from back row. So a lot of soul charging and just getting benefits of having different names in the soul. Unit with Ako Urugawa in this name, Vanner Rears, gets 5k. This one's Roselia. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm kind of starting to figure out as I'm reading these which ones go with which. Let's see. Poppin' Party. Okay. Poppin' Party, I don't really understand yet. Uh, green through good. Discard a card in your hand and reveal a trigger in Poppin' Party. Okay. So the Poppin' Party is the one where you reveal the crit trigger from your hand. What is this? Triple R grade one. This sounds like it should be good. Hello, Happy World. At the end of the battle, a Hello Happy World on your rear attack. Soul Blast 1, return this unit to your hand. Return that unit, sorry. If no orders have been played, come us 1, search your deck. Ah, there you go. Searches for a Hello Happy World music card. Grade less than equal to your vanguard. Search your deck shuffle. So that's pretty good for an act ability. No wonder that's a triple R. I think that's all of it, yeah. So it seems like this is a very spell like orientated deck which is cool in theory i really hope that d series is more like this but i kind of like that the orders are uh sideways maybe like instead of just like vertical orders for d series maybe we can get more horizontal ones when play a straw card two things get 5k easy um attack attack boost hits yeah hello happy world brave jewel we went over that one another draw a heal when place this gets 10k, that's really simple. Oh yeah, PGs. <laughs> Almost forgot about this. The best stage made with everyone. I wonder if they have different arts for this too. That'd be kind of cool. So, yeah, PGs. Everyone knows what PGs do. Alright, we're down to three packs, including this one. So let's see. Uh, another starter. Q my flower. Souls, pastel palettes, different names. New Vanguard is that name. It battle, yeah, the one that battles the whole board. Double rainbow. When players draw a card, look at five cards. Oh, so pop and party stuff. Reveal a trigger, put in your hand. K crit. A foiled draw. So there's foiled triggers too? That's interesting. This is just a common foiled trigger. Um Roselia and Poppin' Parties. Cool. All right. Let's see. Maybe we can get one of them special SSRs. All right. Foiled. Went over that one. Uh, Happy Music World thing. Common. Common. And a foiled order. Firebird. At the end of the battle, let your vanguard with Minato and its name attacks. Soul Blast 4, discard a command, stand your vanguard and get Strive Minus 1. That seems like a heavy cost. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to restanding vanguards being easier costs. Last pack! Last pack! Let's do it! <laughs> oh, man. That's... <laughs> that's funny 
One place, draw a card. At the beginning of your battle phase, stand one of your afterglows. Sure. Um, went through that. Orchestra of Smiles. One place, your Vanguard, Hell Happy World. Look at two cards, top of your deck. Search for up to one among them. Eh, sure. A crit. I think we did this one before. Worldwide Treasure. When attack your helper with hits, draw a card, soul charge, bring a grade to a greater, all your form. Yeah, 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 we went through this one. One rest by ability, and one place look at top seven, reveal a music card. Yeah. Wow. We we have a card in Vanguard called the YOLO. That's that's great. Sure, I might hold on to that just because it's funny. Alright, without the box, I think that was everything. Alright, cool. Um Let's see, in terms of high rarity stuff, I already see one right there. Got triple R. So, I don't know. I don't know anything about this clan, or this deck, or any of the different playstyles, but it sounds like so far that this box was really underwhelming. So, let's look through if it's see if I can find, like, the stuff that's like triple R or higher, because everything is either like a double R or Foiled common. That's triple R. And that's a VR. And I think there was one more VR in the beginning. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So let's see if I can kind of understand what's going on here. We got Happy, Hello Happy World, Hello Happy World, Pop and Party, and Pop and Party. So, so these go like this. In, in terms of like how they work, and let's see. Um, so these have like completely different names. I don't even think this one is part of the cost for, oh wait. Yeah, it is, Orisa Ichigaya right there. For each unit with in their names, all of your front row rear guards. Gain the trigger fits or whatever. This drive checks. No orders have been played, you search your deck, you get one. One place, reveal a crit. Five cards, we'll have to one pop and party without itself in its name. Put in your hand. Okay. And you, let's see, Hello Happy World is... Oh, Michelle, DJ that brings smiles. Michelle. Um, when placed, search your deck, drops on for a card Michelle, call it to rear. If you search your deck, shuffle. When it hits, play this turn, call a card from your hand to rear. So multi-attacking, and this one is just searching out orders, so... I can, all right, I can kind of see the consistency here, but I really think it's definitely going to throw people off because this is completely new. We don't really have like a background understanding of what this clan's all about. So it's the same thing as like how Token Rambu just kind of like swept people because no one wanted to take the time to read what Token Rambu did. I still don't know what Token Rambu does. And I, if I did at one point, I forgot. Um... Yeah, definitely going to rate this clan a good, like, 4 out of 10, and that's only just because of my first experience reading through these cards. <laughs> Alright, for those of you that stuck around and watched this, thank you, and please go ahead and check out Triple C TCG if you want to get your hands on those playsets, bundles, and finish up those D-series decks coming out in the near future. And that's about it. I'm Richard, and I'll see you all in the next video.